so in system very log function uh, will have the uh, this uh, keyword written it will return some value right and one more thing inside uh, uh, this is an uh, expression we are performing this operation in this return uh, function right return as a priority over returning the value in the function name getting this one return as return as priority over returning the value in the function name very log must reach the end uh, end of a task or function to exit right but uh, what if you want to exit before uh, suppose inside a function we are having uh, five lines uh, in the while if i am reaching a particular condition in the second line i want to exit out of exit from that uh, function or task so what we'll do yeah use very log conditional uh, statements a task is forced to jump to its end next very log passes argument va argument values by position right for example here we are having one function having the name of uh, divide here we are passing input numerator output is denominator okay so inside the function we are uh, simply checking right if else condition denominator is equal to zero then dollar display is equal to error we are displaying and then numerator is divided by denominator that's okay now uh here what's happening actually we are passing the numerator so passes argument values by position which one yeah both are inputs are getting uh, what is the, what they are trying to say here this function where you are calling this function result you are assigning this uh, result of this function so here you are calling result is equal to divide a b comma a right so here you are passing the value actually right so b value corresponds to the first position whatever the things we are uh, sorry we yeah, mentioned here it will corresponds this b and this a corresponds this one so this is what they are trying to say here argument values by position okay system very log can pass argument values by name in very log we have to pass by uh, position but here it is possible to pass by name also uh, like uh, module port connection by name by order in very log how you will connect the ports we are having two types first uh, uh, we can either connect by using the position of the ports or by using the uh, name Uh, same like uh, uh, that here also we are having that same concept divide dot denominator is equal to b dot numerator is equal to b so now we are passing the values with respect to name so named argument pass you sorry named argument argument uh, passing can reduce errors because if you are uh, if you are having very big list okay suppose you are having more than 10 uh, 10 parameters 10 arguments here in that case you should remember that order right if you are using passing by order so if you are going with this uh, name uh, na passing by name means you can reduce errors uh, in this okay so we know that uh, if you want to use a combo logic if you want to infer your intention is to infer a combo logic you have to use combo always underscore combo right and uh, then look at here initial for this uh, for this uh, block we are writing the test bench here okay so now what is the logic uh, why if mode is set to uh, zero then uh, addition if mode is set to uh, one then it set uh, it will do the subtraction operator right okay now uh, that uh, mode and a plus b these are all the inputs mode a b all are inputs and output is y okay so now we are forcing those inputs from here okay so what's happening here uh, in always block you are using uh, after every 30 30 time units 
mode is inverted to not yeah not of mode so 0 1 0 1 it will create like a clock okay at the uh, 60th 60th time unit it will finish yeah so if we are we will have only one clock like this one high one low right because this is having the width of 30 30 plus 30 and what we are doing here for, for after 5 you are uh, forcing 1 a is equal to 1 after 10 uh, you are forcing b is equal to 0 like that okay and uh, these are all related to uh, dump files now we will compile and uh, execute this thing now we'll uh, compile it once again simulate it what uh, hmm? no test is in yeah test is in here we are having test bench right now uh, look at here so actually we know that the mode is one cycle right okay. it will start at 30 uh, time minutes here nanosecond is the uh, reference okay and this is mode okay. it is starting at uh, 30 okay. and it will end at 60 because at 60 your ready you look at here where mode is initialized to zero uh, initially it is initialized to zero okay after 30 it will be inverted one. okay so what is the value one okay so up to from 30 to 60 it will be one once it reached uh, 60 it will terminate. yeah it will terminate that's why it asked whether to finish it or not right now look at here so mode is zero up to 30 30 and uh, after that up to 60 it will be there mm. as a zero sorry as a one and now you are forcing a is equal to 1 one. one and b is equal to zero b is equal to zero mm. so if mode is zero what should happen if mode is zero mode is zero what condition yeah. addition should happen so here one plus zero output is what one right yeah. like that it is doing what it's not equal to mode y equal to zero yeah zero if uh, it has to do the subtraction operator so a minus b is what 1 minus 0 1 we are getting 1 here right in the output 1 minus 0 this green form one. getting 1 minus 1 1 minus 0 1 and here look at here 1 minus 1 we are getting 0 low 